Yeah. Okay, so thanks for introducing me. I'm just going to do a short presentation on nutrition for rugby and how nutrition can really help performance and recovery with players and especially coming into the academy, it can really enhance your performance if you really buy in. So, straight in. So, players are put into tremendous demand, so they're going to be in school and then they're going to be coming to Kingston Park. So, they're put under demand, whether that will be in school, so they have PE lessons and then they'll come to here straight after. So, it's important that the energy levels are full all the time. So, carbohydrates are king for energy. So, carbohydrates are just basically stored in the muscles, glycogen. So, as we exercise, they'll deplete, so they'll reduce as we're exercising, so it's really important to ensure that our carbohydrate stores are high throughout the day, every day. So to refuel and to ensure that our stores are full, carbohydrates and fats provide energy. Fats do provide energy, but carbohydrates are more efficient, so if we have 50 grams of carbohydrates and 50 grams of fats, then you'll get more energy from the carbohydrates, so really focus on the carbohydrates more than the fat. So we want to be getting our carbohydrates from good sources, so sweet potato, basmati rice, oats, none of the french fries, um, and then your fat, you've got nuts, olive oil and avocado. And that just moves nicely on to glycemic index, so you'll be hearing a lot of this as you're coming through the academy. So carbohydrates are classed, as, classed into two groups, low GI, so low glycemic index and high, and basically all it means is it's your ability to get energy fast, so if you have high GI sources, then you'll get energy fast, whereas low GI foods provide slow release, so you'll stay hungrier for longer. So we, we always recommend high GI sources post-exercise, because that's when you want to be getting the energy up quick. And then your low GI is throughout the day, so you stay hungrier for longer. So some examples is white potatoes, white bread, they're all high GI. And then low GI is your whole meal bread, rice, sweet potato. And then in order for us to grow muscles, we need a lot of protein. And again, from lean sources, so chicken breast, white fish, mackerel, lean beef steaks. And we always try and advise the players, especially the senior academy, is to try and consume 20 grams every two to three hours. It might seem a lot, but as you're coming through the ranks, then you'll realise that how important protein is to get big. <laughs> if you're wondering what 20 grams of protein is, these are just some examples. So these are great, the yogurts and the protein milkshake. So it's a really small yogurt and you can get 20 grams of protein just from eating them and about 15 grams of carbs. Biltong, so Biltong's massive in the rugby world, the lads love it, so it's just like a dried meat and again you can get 20 grams of protein just from this small serving. And then you've got your bagels, wholemeal bagels, these provide 40 grams of carbs, so it's quite a lot considering the size of the bagel and 10 grams of carb, uh, protein, sorry. So if you have two of these, you can get a big hit of carbohydrates and 20 grams of protein. Three eggs will provide 20 grams. A can of tuna, 20 grams, and then a handful of nuts, again, 20 grams. And then the only important vegetables and fruit. Now, from working with players, the all every player tries to avoid having fruit and veg. But as you start to speak to them about the importance, and you'd be surprised to grow muscles, you actually need to consume vegetables. So, not just consume vegetables from green as well, having a range of colours into the diet helps. So from working with the younger players and the senior academy, these are just some things I think have been a problem. So breakfast ideas or skipping breakfast and I think breakfast is the perfect opportunity to kickstart your metabolism and get the protein hit going straight away and then the meal prep which I'll go on to. So these are just some breakfast ideas which I suggest to the senior academy lads to have before. So if you're in a rush, some good options are the high protein breakfast smoothie, which you could make the night before and put in the fridge. So this could, con this could include some milk, banana, organic honey, oats and Greek yogurt to add that extra protein and even some scoops of peanut butter can add some extra protein. 
Then you've got your omelettes, which you could add some spinach for extra vitamins, and a bagel again for carbs. And you've got this overnight oats, which is a big craze at the moment. You can make them the night before, and then you can throw, throw it in your bag and take it to school. And these, just as this, an example recipe, so it's Greek yogurt, oatmeal, blueberries, and you just literally throw it all together, put it in the fridge, and then it soaks up into a nice creamy, like porridge-like breakfast. Meal prep. So with the senior academy lads, we've had some cookery lessons, and they've been really successful. And with the lads, we just basically showed them how to make meals in bulk. So making a, a big pan of something and being able to separate it so that they've got enough for the week. So when they're coming home from training, they don't have to worry about getting getting the frozen foods out. They, they just go in the fridge and heat something up. So I think being prepared and making foods for, for the whole week is a good idea as well. You can take them to school if the school dinner's on. Up to your standard, you can take them to school in Tupperware boxes. And I think it's, it's good to just show you some of the uh, some examples of day-to-day -day nutrition. So just an idea of what your players should be eating and <coughs> what they should start to be thinking about what their diet should look like coming through the academy. So we should start 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 to think about nutrition in the days leading to the match, the day after the match, during the match, post match, and in training. So it's not just literally waking up day match. Right, let's go. Let's, it needs to start a couple of days before, and then it continues throughout the whole week. So on a training day, you wake up in the morning, and we want to be getting the protein and the carbohydrates straight into the diet. So we might have an egg omelette or scrambled eggs with some spinach, and then we might add, add a wholemeal bagel onto that as well. And again, fluids. So throughout the day, every two hours, what we want to be eating, or two to three hours. So then you might have your lesson. Two hours later, another hit of protein. Now, just this pack of biltong and this yogurt will provide 40 grams of protein, which is brilliant with just a small, small serving like that. And again, hydration. Then it comes to lunchtime, after your next lesson, you might have some sweet potato with salmon, so lean quality protein and good quality carbohydrates. Then last lesson, at the end of the day, you'll be all tempted to get to the nearest shop and buy a snicker and some crisp, but as you come through the academy, you really need to be thinking about having good nutrition, so you might have some Roy Vita with hummus, so healthy fats added on, and then some tomatoes. Once you get home, you'll be might might have training at like five, six o'clock. So before training, we want to be consuming some carbohydrates and protein to ensure that our stores are full and enough energy to perform in the training session. So you might have some chicken breast, some vegetables, and some sweet potato again, or you might have some wholemeal rice. And then after training, as I said before, you could have saved some of that food or made more of it, so when you come back from training, it's, it's already made, so you don't have to worry about cooking. Day before the match, that's another chance to get our energy source high, so get up in the morning and consume carbohydrates and protein. <coughs> Two hours later, carbohydrates and protein, and again, and again, and again. So start to realise that there's a regular income of carbohydrates and protein and fluids as well as well as the vitamins from the fruit. And if you get hungry at the night, then there's nothing wrong with having another meal. That's nothing wrong. On a match day, so if it's a 12 o'clock kickoff, we might get up at 7 or we might get up at 9, depending on how you feel. So if we get up at 7, that's a good chance to get a high hit of carbohydrates of some vitamins. Then two hours later, brilliant chance to get another hit of carbohydrates, but then three hours before they always suggest players to have the last high carbohydrate meal. Because um, if we have this meal at one hour before, then it could cause sore bellies and some like really bad gastrointestinal distress. So I always suggest big carbohydrate meal three hours before and then one hour before, just like a breakfast bar or a muesli bar. Something that's high glycemic index, with some fresh fruit or orange juice, which is high GI as well, which provides good carbohydrates. 
fluent again. So after the game, they come off the pitch and straight away we want the players to be thinking about getting some carbohydrate and protein back into the body to start the recovery process. So Yazoo is a big craze, so see the academy lads up. You with this. Yazoo is brilliant, chocolate milk, any 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 type, Tesco zone, anything. It's good to get carbohydrates and protein back into the diet. And a sandwich. And then some electrolytes, so just the Lucas Aid. Always try and do this within 30 minutes or within an hour. And then th that'll be brilliant in order to start the recovery process. But it doesn't end there. So you just get home and probably wanting to just go to bed. But again, you need to be having an another hit of carbohydrates and protein. So a shepherd's pie or a spag spaghetti bolognese. And electrolytes as well. Day after the match, so it just doesn't stop. You literally every day thinking about your nutrition. So this is similar to match day minus one. It's a high carbohydrate day. So get up in the morning, carbohydrate protein, two hours later, the same, and regular hits of hydration as well. So just a take home message for me is I've just came up with this little paragraph and I'm just gonna read it all. So in order for our players to be able to compete and train at the highest capability, sufficient carbohydrates, protein, fat and fluids and vitamins must be fed in order for enough energy to be available for performance and recovery. Carbohydrates are king for energy and protein is king for muscle growth. Therefore, consistent feedings of carbohydrates and protein should be given throughout the day. With this in mind, an organised preparation with the meal prep, of foods for the week, there is no doubt the player will be able to perform to their best ability in both school and Newcastle Falcons without the chances of becoming ill and missing vital training time. Because at this point, you really want to be proving yourself. So, with the addition of good nutrition, then that can really assist you in standing out from the rest of the team and making it through the banks to hopefully the first team environment. So, thank you for listening.